that surrounds me If we hold ourselves together we'll go far guys, Yudo Essentials here. For today's video, I'm going to be making a DIY wall desk. This is a requested video and here are some photos that were sent to me. I'll be starting off this project with a thick wooden port that I got from Home Depot. All I'm doing now is getting the midpoint and then I'm going to be drawing a large round circle. And because I don't have a compass that's that long, I'm going to be using a screw and the long rope to give me a long circle of 46 inches. After that, I used my jigsaw for cutting. It's not a perfect circle, but at least it's close to it. I then cut it in half and then the other half was cut into two. I'll be putting back these boards together and holding them all in place with the duct tape. This is so that it will be easy for me to go on with the project when they're all together. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. I got this flexible board from Home Depot and I cut it to see if I can use it but it wasn't holding well to the wood only because it's really rigid even if it's flexible so I had to switch it up for plastic. This is what it looks like when I was done. Now I'm going to be attaching wood across right in the middle and I'll be using wood glue and screws. I'm also going to be adding wood at the bottom because of the two open spaces that will be there. I decided to add another piece of wood at the top for shelving. I'll be attaching two small crates inside. When I was done, I painted the open spaces. The middle part here and inside the crates will be covered up with mirrors. These are the hardwares that I'll be using to enable me open and close the doors. I'll be making two of these. Now all I'm doing is making sure that I have a firm hold from the body to the door flap. I made sure that I got hardwares that can take a lot of weight. This piece here is to connect chains together. The chain that I bought is really, really strong and the only way to connect it with any other thing is to get a connector. I'll be attaching it here and on the door. I'll repeat the same thing to the other side.
I'll be using a roller catch with clip to make it easy for me to open and close the doors. They come with long screws, but because of where I need them to be, I'm going to be changing the screws to shorter ones. Now this is where I had it before, but after I added hinges, it extended the door out a bit. So because of that, the roller is going to be attached at the top. I'm going to remove the remaining tape that I have, and I won't be opening the bottom though. I mean, you can open the bottom if you like, but I left mine closed. These sides here will be covered with a foam roll that I got from Michaels, and these rolls will be cut to size and covered up with mirror reflective paper. I didn't really like how this part here was looking, so I'm going to be covering that up with diamond wrap. Now for the front of what I've just made, I'm going to be covering it with wallpaper. I'm going to randomly add gems to some of the pattern on the wallpaper. When I was done, I added two crystal knobs for the door. What I use to mount this on the wall is attached to the wood that's inside the shelf. What I made is a bit heavy, so I got this cool hardware online that's really easy to install. And the link for this is going to be down in the description box below. You will not believe how easy this is to install and it can hold a lot of weight. All you need to do is just measure up where you want to place your item and then push it in and that's it. I put two on the wall and mounted the wall shelf. To make this even cooler, I added LED lights around it. And this is super easy to open and it can be used for whatever you want. I mean, you can even have two systems on the desk. It can also be used as a makeup vanity. I added lights to the mirror that's in the middle and it looks so pretty. Are you guys aware that I have opened a merchandise store? Well, I have, and it's easy to locate it. When you click on any of my videos, it'll be right at the bottom. There are regular basic items that I put up on sale, and they all come in different colors. And don't worry guys, because I have another store coming up pretty soon with Home Decor Essentials. Your purchases and contributions mean a lot to me and it helps my channel. And I am so thankful for all of you who have started making purchases already. I really do appreciate you all. I want to remind you guys that I covered the bottom sides, but then you can open yours if you like for extra storage. I really love how this turned out and this desk is so huge. Now you can make yours smaller if you like. I really had fun making this and I hope you all learned one or two things from it. Now don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and share with your friends and families as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I have other home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below to check them out. And don't forget to click on the subscribe button.